Today's video is all about how to gain cubes and reach infinite. What you're about to witness is me using a pure series three and below deck to beat players with series four and five cards to show you that the deck doesn't matter. You are able to climb with good snapping and retreating techniques. And to accomplish that goal, we start with Spectrum. She reads, on reveal, give your ongoing cards plus two power. So you can really focus in on filling a lane completely and then being able to buff that later in the game. Those ongoing cards include Ant-Man, Quack Quack, Dazzler, Goose, who is also good for lane control, Armor to combat those pesky destroy decks, Colossus, Invisible Woman, the first Avenger himself, Cosmo, and New Cage. And we finish off with Destroyer, who provides us a big power punch, and combined with Cosmo and Armor, we can still manage to win games by protecting our lanes. I'm starting this recording at rank 77, and I will show you how to climb. I will edit down the bot games because I think they're important to show when showing people how to climb, and we will beat bots and humans alike. Okay, first up, we have a bot. <laughs> how do I know instantly that it is a bot? The username is very simple, and they have a very basic avatar. There's no spotlight. There isn't any uh, infinity border like my effect is. So it is, it is a bot. We will wait to snap. So the real big test is to snap and then hit in turn. So that's what we're going to do now. Snap, in turn. Uh, I'm a liar. <laughs> Sometimes that, sometimes that is the tell. We will see what they play. They might be masquerading. No, there's no way they have the same exact card as me. I am, I am so positive this is a bot. Let's see how nice, because I really disrespect bots. <laughs> let's, let's see how nice they want to be to me. They, they are nice, of course, bots typically allow you to win. A real player would have left, is going to leave this turn because they discarded their Hela and we blew up their Invisible Woman. I think I play Cap? Yes. Play Cap middle and then Spectrum left and again it's a bot. They're going to let me win. Okay, they are playing Getting Down Jubilee. How many cards do they have left? He has zero cards in hand. <laughs> so, playing Spectrum here, you can see all the cards that Spectrum lights up is who she's going to buff. Again, this is a bot, so it really doesn't matter where I play or don't play. I could play these two into either of the lanes, then I win all three. I could play Spectrum here, and I win all three. It doesn't even matter, like, why am I even... Yeah. So, that's a bot game, and you make sure you snap early on those, try to recognize them early, based on their play pattern, based on their name and avatar, and get those easy cubes. Okay, our first real human, Captain Slow. They are a normal deck, eight cards in hand. What am I doing on turn two? Is it just a simple armor into the vault? Yes. And we will see what they are. Okay, they are a junk deck. I do have Luke Cage for the Widow's Kiss, I mean. And I guess I am playing Luke Cage Am I filling up middle with Howard and Colossus? I won't fill up middle yet because the Luke Cage zeroes out the Widow's Kiss. Okay, they didn't send because they couldn't with the Green Goblin. So it is a full-on junk deck. I do have priority. I think I want to save my Cosmo. So I will fill up mid now. I think I'm gonna snap. Because what other junk do they have? And then Howard here? Victory. 
Okay, this player just got defeated by a <laughs> Fjord, Fjord Series 2, I, I mean, I'm sorry, Fjord Series 3 deck with their fancy Series 5 card in White Widow. And the game plan, especially with Luke Cage, maybe they were a negative affliction style deck. Okay, next up we are against Tequats. We will get the Howard down now. They have a normal deck. Dazzler is up next. Well, with three energy, maybe I draw into something that costs more. I do not. My next turn is Luke Cage. I will get down Invisible Woman and Ant-Man instead. Zabu. So I might need to be careful with a Galactus, but that could only happen middle with the Symbiote Spider-Man. I'm not going to be able to Cosmo the middle, so they'll be able to have free reign. Uh, I think I will go Luke Cage here. My next card is Captain. I will have four energy. Yep, there's that. So I need to be able to play a big card middle. Four energy. Let's go with Dazzler. And armor? What am I drawing next? <laughs> Goose? Is this going to be enough middle? Oof. Yeah, they're just having free reign, and I didn't draw into Cosmo as well. There is Cosmo on the last turn of the game. <laughs> Fantastic. Here and here, let's see what they're up to. Avengers! Assemble. If this is a taskmaster. Wakanda forever! Oof. It is a black panther. <laughs> And this would have been fantastic for Cosmo. Do you think this is Taskmaster? Like and subscribe. Because if it's Taskmaster, they can't play right. And Cosmo beats Taskmaster left? If it's a Zola, it's a 50-50? <laughs> so the reason I did snap here is you can't do a last turn snap because they may think, oh, this person has a Shang-Chi or a Shadow King or something to that effect, some kind of disruption. Let me leave. So I would much rather take the two cubes in this case. You're on ladder. Conquest rules will be different. This is where Goose and Cosmo shine because you have this level of control. If they play Taskmaster, Taskmaster Middle, fantastic. If they play him left, we got the Cosmo. We didn't have our big finishers in Spectrum or Destroyer, but we were able to, when you play against meta decks, you know what they're trying to do. So that is how I was able to come to the determination that it was going to be a Taskmaster, or if it was going to be a Zola, it would have been a 50-50. And seven points over here is a tie here, and it loses here. That actually defeats us if it is the Zola play, no matter what Zola hits, because Black Panther will win that tiebreaker. But listen, I was able to predict the Taskmaster, we have Cosmo for that, and we, we take the win. Okay, next we have 
Mr. Bot Royce. Uh, so it doesn't even matter what I'm doing. Get Goose down. Okay, they have the lead. When the bot has the lead, that is when I like to snap. We get four energy. That's kind of nice. So I will get both of these down now. There is my exact copy of armor. <laughs> is it exact? It is not, but the same variant. There is the bot snapping back. We will play Captain and Armor over here. We will play Spectrum Middle. And we will call it a day. And then the bot will almost assuredly play Middle. Or if it wants to make me feel like it was close, the bot will figure out how to make it a close game. And I will still end up winning. And that's probably designed just so you can go, oh man, this was so close, and give you those endorphin hits. And it's really not a close game. So the bot couldn't clutch it out with even getting it close. They gave me eight. And that is how you maximize your, your cubes against bots. So really the way to climb is you want to be more conservative against humans and very aggressive against bots because 95% of them let you win. And it's worth taking the losses on the 5% because again, 95% is a lot more than 5%. Okay, we are up against a real player. The Chosen One. Shall I get Howard down into Danger Room? Sure. Can I click him before he, he gets blown up? No. <laughs> no, it is. Uh, I guess we'll slide armor over here and see how it goes. See what kind of deck this is before I snap, what deck the opponent is running. My next turn, I have either Captain or Luke Cage. And survey says, where are you going? Are you going to protect Danger Room? You are not. Good old Jeff. Okay, protects that monster island. Sure. Fill up that lane. I still don't know what deck my opponent is running. On turn four. Okay. It is a surfer deck. So if I can draw into Spectrum, this would be fantastic. Oh, but the goose is going to stop me from playing Spectrum Middle, so I forget what else I could draw into. Okay, they are giving up Colossus. Perfect. They are giving up Right. I don't know if I'm going to draw into Spectrum. That's another good reason for Howard being in the deck. Because if I were able to see what card I were drawing into, if it were Spectrum, I would probably do the, I would run the math and potentially snap. Is this Patriot? This might be Patriot. So let's see what I draw into. Oh, I took the lead. And we drew into Spectrum. I'm willing to roll it. And now I w really wish I would have snapped early. I'm still unclear as to what deck this is. I don't think... Can Patriot and Mystique... Beat me? Maybe that's the line that beats me. But that would only add 8 power middle? So I don't even think that beats me. Maybe a Gilgamesh? They can also move the Jeff, but then playing in the Danger Room is risky for them. So they're taking a while. This is why you don't snap on the last turn to chase them away. Because we're in a pretty strong position. This Dazzler is going to get buffed 
on her own because we're filling another lane. Spectrum's going to continue to buff them all. I have priority. So nothing can be shawned, chong -shied. They can't alieth me. And they were going to retreat anyway, so that's why you don't snap. Maybe you get them to stay for one more cube. And like I said earlier, if I didn't cut that part out, <laughs> is I, I need to learn how to snap and retreat. I am not used to snapping and retreating with this deck. So unfortunately, this video isn't going to be the best at that. But I'm going to try to walk you through and analyze when you should have snapped. And had we not lost Howard, then that is when I would have snapped. So we got kind of hit by location RNG because I would have snapped on turn five had I known I was going to draw into Spectrum. Another, another win against a human. Okay, next up we have Yogurt. End our turn. We have nothing to do on turn one. They are a normal deck eight cards turn two we will get down armor they could be a nihilus you're seeing less of that at least at the time of this recording they could be some kind of bounce i think i'm getting down both armor and cosmo middle and i'm going to snap they might play the demon. This snap might scare them into playing the demon to take priority. But a lot of people like to save the demon. So if they do save it, I will be able to Cosmo next turn into Sinister London and stop their ongoings. Okay, perfect. So they did not take priority. Our Ant-Man is completely dead. Ah! <laughs> oh, look at who showed up to save the day. Luke Cage. We will Cosmo middle and stop that ongoing. And then hopefully the goblin goes, ah, went the wrong way. No such luck. Oof. They are getting clogged in a hurry. Do I... Captain America, do I Ant-Man? Captain America... Ant-Man here? And then on the... I could hide invisible... Luke Cage under Invisible Woman? We'll see. But they're going to want to jam me here, so that's why I'm clogging myself. Yep, there it is. So I can't Spectrum. They have a Demon. What does this go to? This gets plus four. So actually plus six. Hmm, I think this is still a lost cause. They can't do anything here. So I think it's just Luke Cage and Destroyer. So I'm curious to see what they are planning on doing, how they're able to win this game. Because this is just a lot of points and they can't interact with me here in these two lanes. So you saw I snapped early because I kind of read that this was a really on reveal. I might not have mentioned it at the time, but clearly with Hood, that is always accompanied by with on reveal, whether it's Beast, whether it's Junk, whatever it is. And then once they played Celine, Victory. this is why we snapped early. There was absolutely no way they were going to pull it off. They could play a Demon over here to win left. Oh, I forgot about the Luke Cage erasing the Goblin as well. There is an... And see, so that's why I also was thinking to play Invisible Woman under Luke Cage to maximize my cube gains. Because I probably still would have won right and then Destroyer Middle. It was just a little risky in my head and I couldn't run or I didn't feel like running all of that math so I just made the safer play but honestly in hindsight playing invisible woman right 
and Luke Cage right that in all likelihood wins right. Destroyer solos middle. And then if they ignore left because they think they have it won, then the Luke Cage pops to life underneath the Invisible Woman and actually flip left. So that is how you play against junk. And you want to clog yourself if you don't have a Cosmo in that lane to prevent them from clogging you. And we got two cubes out of a real human with a 100% Series 3 deck. They had one, two, three Series 5 cards. Okay, next up we are against Fractured. You all can read the rest of that username. Please read it out loud. <laughs> they have a... Ooh, big, bad, scary Arisham. Turn one Loki, and they did not snap. Gamma. Hmm. Get down Colossus. And I don't think I'll be able to fill. I won't be able to fill. But I can play two cards. No? Oh. Okay. <laughs> Do they have Sean? Because I don't have Sean. So they would have needed Sean to be one of the card first cards they drew. Or have a 13 power card. If I play Goose? Or do I wait to play Goose? Because that would leave one of the Hulks. Oh, this is just a gamble. I'm going to gamble. I'm I'm already disadvantaged. Oh, I can't play both of them. I guess I'll wait. Okay. That was that was probably the right move. Uh, I am still afraid to snap. Uh do I I don't play invisible woman. Okay, what is this? Devil Dino. So they can only play one card. Otherwise their Devil Dino loses too much power. This gets me to 11 and I win left by one. Nobody snapped. So... I will see it through. <laughs> there we go. Because I because I knew they could only play one card unless they had card generation. But that is going to be tough because they Loki'd on turn one. So we beat a Arishem turn one Loki. I, I don't know how. <laughs> But we ran the map, and we, we knew we were in decent position. And so I saw it through and got the dub. Okay, next up we have Diego MH. We get down Howard. They have six cards in their deck. So do I. It matches, so they are a normal deck. We will draw through the vast majority of our cards. Next up, we have Invisible Woman. Let's get down Goose here. They have played nothing. Okay, that is a strategy. We most definitely, they aren't drawing cards. <laughs> I would like to know what deck this is. Next up, we have Spectrum. Uh, I will get down the Cosmo here. I'm going to snap. The reason I'm snapping, Orchis Forge. Nobody wants to play into Orchis Forge. They have seven cards. They're not playing into Orchis Forge. 
they are restricted with Goose into Olympia. And Cosmo is now going to block their on reveals. And they still haven't played a card. <laughs> Whoa. The snapback. The snapback. This is slightly confusing. <laughs> Destroyer is next, so I won't have armor to protect the lane. So I will get down Colossus. And Dazzler? Alright, that snap has me worried. Like, this is a... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, this is a Galactus play. And armor is the last card in my deck as... as expected. So if this is a Galactus, it's just 11 points I need to beat middle. Unless they have something to buff. Captain, an invisible woman. Avengers, assemble. Or is this Black Panther? Wakanda it forever. is Black Panther. So this would be a Zola play. I'll take the four. I don't think they realized Goose and Cosmo were down. I think they got so tunnel, they had so so much tunnel vision into Symbiote Spider-Man Black Panther Taskmaster that they didn't realize they can't play Taskmaster left and they can't play Taskmaster right. So the only play was gonna be Zola. So either five cards in deck, because they kept bricking their draws. Either they didn't have Zola, or they only had Taskmaster. I will I will take the four cubes either way. We went up against a, a much stronger deck than we had, and you saw we got four cubes out of a real human. Okay, so I've been recording for almost exactly an hour. I hit rank 80, and of course, when you hit rank 80, it bumps you to 83. And this is how you climb with a pure series three and below deck. You saw I beat an Arishem player, I beat other real life players, and of course, there were bot games in there. And this is how you climb to infinite. It's nothing flashy, it's just consistently playing, getting enough time in because the climb will get slower especially with a pure series two deck as you get into the 80s and as you get into the 90s. But the philosophy does not change. You try to be conservative against real players. No, learn when to snap and retreat. Be very aggressive against the bots if you have them. And that is how you climb. Of course, I'd like to thank all the members of the channel. You are very special to me. I love you deeply. <laughs> and all the people that have watched to the end of the video to this very point thank you very much it helps the channel grow the average watch duration if you watched my youtube metrics video it's a pretty important metric that the youtube algorithm uses so i appreciate you making it to the end of the video i will probably have some bonus games that way i can reduce the main runtime of the actual meat and potatoes of the video this deck, like many others, can be used to climb. You do not need to play a meta deck. You do not need to use series four and five cards. I know it might be hard to believe, but I have proof in, video, in videos that are maybe two months, three months old. And this is some more proof that you can use a completely free deck to win cubes. Don't worry about your win rate. 
Are you gaining cubes? That's the most important thing to reaching infinite. Good luck and have fun. Next up, we have Action Hank, another real player because they are part of a alliance. So that should be another way to tell. I don't think they are faking with the bots and alliances yet at least. I will put Dazzler middle for the X mansion, easily fill that lane. I may end up playing Cosmo there to prevent any X mansion nonsense. Who has priority? I will wait. I still have priority. I still have priority. And I still have priority. <laughs> So I am going to snap because I have priority and because I can play Cosmo. My guess is this is a Silver Surfer. They have Sebastian Shaw for their avatar. They have just played a Forge and we're going to tag their Surfer. I mean their Brood, which we did not. But they cannot get any... Ooh. They cannot get any ongoings. I mean, on reveals. Uh, okay, plot out my turns. Plot them out. Armor. And Goose. And then next turn is Luke Cage. And Ant-Man. Uh, let's see. Yeah, play Luke Cage just in case. Luke Cage and Ant-Man. And you're probably going to see a bad stay here. But we will see. Sarah, and we got the Luke Cage underneath the Cosmo. So now it is, do I go with Destroyer or Spectrum? And I think it's always Spectrum. I can't win left, clearly. And we will... The Gwynpool does scare me. Sarah, this might be a bad stay, but I'm adding a decent amount of points. We will see if they get... And that's why there's another argument to be made. Maybe I do play Destroyer left. Because Destroyer left wins that lane. So we will see. They will definitely be able to slide into the Hope lane. Because of Sarah. But we will see how many points they can put down. We're gaining... They need to put eight... Eight points here? Two, four, six... So that's very possible, but I am willing to, to play this out and see how it goes. The other thing about me is I don't, I, I have the confidence that I'm going to hit infinite. Knowledge hmm. is power. So maybe I should have, yeah. It would have been a tie. Would that have won with this? Destroyer left would have been a tie. It would have been 14. I would have lost the tiebreaker. Yeah, because I clogged the lanes, maybe I should have held on to Cosmo, but I was expecting the Brood play. So, so this was a bad stay. <laughs> As I said earlier, and it is, what you are watching is me learning the deck and having the full confidence I'm going to hit infinite regardless. I, the reason I play that way is, it is, it's very freeing and I don't get tilted. So yes, I lost eight cubes, but I'm going to make that up. And I'm not worried about stats and it, showing off a good win rate or cube rate. I will I will gain mostly because of the bots. 
and I will be real humans. And it's just being a little bit more careful, as I said. Once they had the Sarah on the board with the Gwynpool, it was it was a better bet to just uh, retreat. Alrighty, we are up against a battery. They have a normal deck. I will play Howard here because if it is destroy, I can get down armor. Cosmo Middle is always nice. Destroyer, we will get down Invisible Woman. Okay. Oh. They're going to play their On Reveal Middle. So I will get down Cosmo. Fantastic. What were we going to draw next, Goose? We were set up nicely because this is a on-reveal deck. We have Avengers Compound turn 5, so they're locked to playing here. They're not going to play into Vibranium Mines. There was a chance they play into Central Park, but I was willing to roll that and make that gamble because people typically don't want to play three cards in the same lane so early on in the game. So by playing Cosmo Middle, we stop two turns they can unreveal this turn and turn five. So that's just strong position to be in. And then I see how to progress the rest of the game. I have armor to protect the lane from Destroyer. I can play Destroyer under Cosmo and load up somewhere else. Hopefully I draw into like an Ant-Man or a Dazzler or a Captain America and able to win another lane. So I felt like we were well positioned. So I was, I'm snapping because I felt like I ha was in an advantageous position. And we got a cue. Okay, Bliff the Bot. Let's watch as they play into Lechagia. <laughs> it is a bot because it is a very simple username and a very basic avatar, and you will see them make dumb plays. Also, it's weird. I think most bots skip, at least in my knowledge, skip turn one. Death's Domain, we are there already, and we have armor if we need to get in there some more. We have Destroyer. Okay. So that shuffles our deck. Oh, it doesn't shuffle our deck. Yes, it does. Uh, I think I just play Co Colossus Middle? The Nexus... I'm not a fan of that. <laughs> Cosmo. But we should be able to win that lane. Ugh, Bishop. I mean, listen, it's a bot. What am I what am I sweating over? Opponent snap. There is the bot snap. Who is next? Captain America. Play Cosmo. And then Captain America. And also, if you're wrong about the bots, that, that'll happen from time to time. But see, no, there's, there's the bad bot move. There it is. Nobody is playing the Collector in the Lechagia with the Nexus down. Dazzler. I don't know what's worth more points. And it might be worth shuffling the deck and trying to get a better card. I mean, okay, let me run the math. <laughs> Plus two power. So it would just be four. Oh, unless I play middle, then it would be six. And cap is two, four. No, cap is always worth more. And then, yeah, let's just shuffle. And see if I can draw into spectrum.
but also, like I said, the bot typically makes plays to lose. But we will see. We drew a rock, and then Luke Cage. So, we just, uh... Play it out because it's a bot, and they were felt like they were going to win, so they instantly retreated <laughs> to give us the four cubes. And this is how you climb. Armor to combat those pass combat. And armor to combat those pesky dis <laughs> I hate you and your channel. Armor to combat those pesky destroy decks. 